Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for October 16th, 2023 is the waxing crescent moody moon in passionate Scorpio opposite expansive Jupiter retrograde and luxury loving Taurus. It's better to take some space for yourself rather than fight with others today. Someone might be a tad bit inflexible. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for October 16th, 2023 is Sowilo. Sowilo. The letter S, the meaning sun. Associations, good guidance, wholeness, awareness, hope, goals achieved, individual victory, and honor. Today, your focus is on achieving a victory or accomplishing goals in the proper or honorable way. The way you accomplish these goals will matter as much to you as the accomplishment itself. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for October 16th, 2023 is Wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. You drew this card because of an upcoming wedding, your own or someone else's. It comes to you because marriage plays a role in the answer to your question. For some people, this card could be a validation that you will get married and asks you to keep the faith and continue enjoying your life without worrying about your future marital status. For others, this card signals that you'll meet a significant other at an upcoming wedding or experience something there that will lead to new romance for you. It can also represent your parents' marriage and the way it affected your feelings and beliefs about relationships. In a few cases, this card asks you to look at your present and past marriages and review your feelings with the intention of healing your heart and your relationship. Perhaps it's time to enlist a marital counselor to help you sort out how you feel. And sometimes this card can signal the end of a marriage, in which case the angels support everyone involved as you come to an understanding about the experience and renew your heart's willingness to love. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for October 16th, 2023 is Green Fairy. Card 24, Green Fairy. Keyword, healing. Buy yourself a plant today. Green is the color of healing and growth. This card tells of healing in progress, a need for healing, or the ability to direct healing energy to yourself or others. Which is it for you? If you are in need of healing, focus your attention on the color of nature's green grass, trees, and foliage. Sit in nature, in the woods, or a garden if possible. Inhale this green deep into every cell of your body and bring this color out in your aura. Fill up with the luscious green of a rainforest. Meditate with this color until you get an inner knowing that you are done. Ask the green fairies to assist you in your healing or with the healing of others. They are very skillful in their craft and are always ready to help. Be sure to offer thanks for their work. Just as the trees and flowers grow, so can your body, mind, emotions, and spirit grow healthy and strong. In nature, there is constant renewal. Your chant? Dear Green Fairies, who live beside our realm. Assist me that I may use the energy of the universe in the proper ways. So that I only offer it up for healing, so that I never force it upon another. 
Keep my ego pure, that I give credit to spirit for the work done. I give gratitude for the use of my being and the assistance of myself and others. I ask that I remember that only spirit knows who is to be healed and who is not, and that I accept this. For who is to know what another has chosen to learn in this life? So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for October 16th, 2023 is Perspective. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the blinkered version and the reactive frame of mind of me against them. Change your perspective. Shift your point of view and zoom out, out, out. But we are but a speck of dust in the universe, yet we think everything revolves around us. We see the planet as ours to own and conquer, pillaging the land and setting ourselves up for eventual extinction. We build fences and walls and create invisible borders. Mother Earth doesn't need us to survive, but we need her. It's time to wake up. A new perspective is urgently needed. We become so lost in our individual experience that we don't realize most of the things that keep us awake at night are actually distractions. We are wasting our precious time and resources by fighting with each other when we should be coming together to heal what's been severed. This moment is a breath in your timeline of your life. This life is a fleeting moment in the tapestry of your soul's experience. Your soul's experience is a flash in the timeline of the known universe. And the known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown universe. Take a moment to see the bigger picture, to find common ground. To find the deep compassion in your heart. To gain a greater perspective of humanity in this fleeting moment in the timeline of your soul's existence. In the timeline of all that is, was, and ever will be. Starseed Soul Inquiry, how are you being called to change your perspective? Today's Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for October 16th, 2023 is Clarity. Clarity. Releasing illusions. This eagle priestess heralds a time of productivity and clarity for you. This card is telling you to sharpen your focus on your own goals right now. You have the vision. Now make the plans and set them in motion. Think of how the eagle's lofty perspective allows it to see far off prey and adjust its actions, anticipating changes before they arise. Real plans, not just fantasies, are called for. So get clear about your goals and what it will take to achieve them. This newfound clarity requires you to release any present or past solutions you've been holding on to. These may be false assumptions about situations or people in your environment. So be honest with yourself about others' intentions and about your own plans and their potential outcomes. Illusions also sometimes encompass deeper aspects of yourself. Even if you think you no longer carry old hurts or misinformation, you may be subtly influenced by fears and limitations you've unwittingly accepted as truth. The eagle calls for you to look deep within, reclaim your inner strength. As you do so, your true power becomes more clearly directed 
and your creativity starts to take shape. The vibrant golden color surrounding the eagle signifies greater mental activity and brightness of mind. Great value is coming into your life. Don't be surprised to find the time before you are opening up with new ideas, accuracy, inspiration, and even prosperity. It's time to get clear about who you are, what you want, and how you're going to get there. This card is telling you plan, prepare, and prosper. Affirmation is, I release illusion and confusion. I think clearly, focusing on my plans, letting my life shine. As I always say, make sure you repeat that affirmation two more times. And with feeling, you need to show the universe you really want it. Today's daily energy reading for October 16th. 2023 is the astrology is telling you telling you to give yourself some time and space from others. So Wilo says you will have a victory. The romance oracle wants you to know a commitment is headed your way. The fairies remind you that you can go into self healing mode. The star seed oracle reminds you that you need to see the bigger picture and the priestess of light oracle asks that you release illusions. So if somebody's being inflexible, whether that's you or the other person, then you need to give yourself a little time and space so you can get that flexibility back. You can rebound. Remember, whatever mode you were in, every other, yeah, any moment you can change it. And a moment is only 90 seconds long. So every 90 seconds, you can reset yourself and go apologize to people. You will have victory on this particular day. There will be some sort of commitment. There will be some sort of self-healing mode that you're going to go into. Get yourself the bigger picture. You're going to start to see uh, perspectives. You might have a change of heart in how you should have talked to somebody. So rather than, you know, being hurt people, hurting people, when you feel that trigger that makes you want to react, pause step back, go into that still feeling mode. Try to see things from this other person's perspective. Release anything that of, of your ego that's insisting only your way is correct. See if you can prove them right instead of spending time trying to prove them wrong. If you can't prove them right in the end, then you know that you were correct. But if you can prove them right, then maybe we need to go have another conversation. 